Hi, welcome to the You Can Do It channel. I'm Annie and we're out here uh, next to this pond. We're, we're installing a duck barn for a bunch of ducks that are behind us. And um, we're gonna square up this building here and I'm gonna show you just how easy you can square up a building so that as you're building it, you're not having to scribe in little mini pieces of plywood because you can't understand why it's longer on one side than it should be as it's going up. Well, uh, there's a formula called the Pythagorean Theorem, and I know you thought you'd never use math after you graduated high school, but in this case, it's an extremely easy formula and it'll square up any size building for you with no problems at all. So stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. So you have the Pythagorean Theorem right here, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if you look at a triangle, you have A on one side, B on the other, and then your hypotenuse is called C. So over here, you have your A here, your B going across, and then your C hypotenuse going that way. So you've just made yourself one triangle here and another triangle there. And then once you find what your hypotenuse is, right in the center is where those two lines should cross and then you know your entire building is square. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we know that A is 69 inches, Chris wrote that down, and B going across, B will be 81 inches. It's C, the hypotenuse, that we do not know. So if we square A plus we add the square of B, it will equal whatever the square of C is. So let me show you how easy that is. Okay, so we did the calculations here. It's 69 squared plus 81 squared equals C squared. So when I do 69 squared, which really is just 69 times 69, it comes to 4,761 inches. If I do 81 squared, which again is just 81 times 81, I come to 6,561 inches. Those two added together will equal C squared. So let's add those up. Okay, so we added 4,761 inches plus 6,561 inches, which then comes to 11,322 inches is what C squared is. That sounds like a big number, but in order to find C, which is your hypotenuse, you then just take the square root of this number and you will get the perfect length in inches for C. So let's do that. Okay, so again, we take that square root of 11,322 inches. And when I do that, I come up with 106 and 3 eighths inch. So that means over here, my hypotenuse is 106 and 3 eighths inches. And then I will just find the center of that and then know that when I do this measuring and this measuring, they need to both come up right in the center. So that's the last thing I need to do in order to square my entire building. So I'll show you what that number is supposed to be. Okay, so the final thing I needed to do to find the center of my entire building was to take that hypotenuse and divide it in half. So 106 and 3 eighths inches divided by two, the very center, X marks the spot, is 53 and 1 eighths inch. So what that means is when I make this side of my building and I make this side of my building, this is going to be 106 and 3 eighths inches long, and so is this, but they need to cross each other at 53 and 1 eighths inch right there in the middle so that I know that my entire building is square. 